Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan, welcome back to a brand new video for HMS TV News. Today, I'm giving you a quick insight on what's happened over the past 24 hours and a couple of hours early morning. It's currently 20 past 1 in the morning, people are sleeping around, so I've got to try and be quiet. But, tell you what, it's been a crazy weekend so far for the Phillip Island Australian Grand Prix. It's, the weather's not been great, as you can see on the screen now. We've had a lot of rain and, unfortunately, practice 2 got cancelled so this morning at 12 o'clock uk time midnight MotoGP had an hour session and it didn't quite go to plan for them after yesterday cal crutchlow this man here topped the timing sheets he topped the combined timing sheets with his time in practice one obviously the practice two being even wetter and cancelled let's see how this morning session affected it So this is how the riders will line up. In qualifying one, Maverick Vinales heads them out with Valentino Rossi, Eugene Laverty, Alvaro Bautista, Cal Crutchlow, Bradley Smith, Yoni Hernandez, the wildcard, Mike Jones, Loris Baz, Tito Abat, and then the surprising name at the bottom of the field, Jorge Lorenzo. Now he's not very good in the wet, as we know his confidence is not quite high. But uh, hopefully the two Yamahas will be able to get themselves up there. In qualifying two, Mark Marquez tops the timing sheets after FB3 with Jack Miller in second. The two Espargaro brothers in third and fourth with Dovizioso in fifth. Redin, Bridal, Nicky Hayden on the Rapsol Honda in eighth. With Petrucci ninth, Hector Barber tenth. And then there's obviously two spots to go into Q2 from Q1. And then two riders are looking to me personally to be like these two Valentino Rossi and Jorge Lorenzo however there is some riders in there like Maverick Vinales, Cal Crutchlow who obviously topped the session on Friday, Eugene Laverty, Alvaro Bautista on the Aprilia because obviously his teammate is already directly into Q2 and maybe Mike Jones who knows we don't know what the weather's going to do now FP3 was a very weird session because it was dry and people were setting lap times and they were slowly improving as the track got better and then it rained again and it just made the track that little bit slippery but yeah it's going to be interesting to see what this man can do Cal Crutchlow if it is a full wet session and obviously as I said Mark Marquez on the front of the timing sheets on top of the timing sheets provisional pole position and it'd be interesting to see wet or dry whether or not he has the pace so obviously these guys have had no dry track time this weekend and then finally it'd be interesting to see what this man can do Nicky Hayden he's had no dry time on this bike he's, he's he rode the bike in Aragon but that was a Mark VDS bike but however it was apparently the same bike just with a different color scheme but it's Jack Miller's home round. He's looking good this weekend. Whether or not he will be able to put the bike on the front row, he's directly into Q2. And if it's wet, why not? Why not? And if it's a wet race tomorrow, why not have a Jack Miller win in Phillip Island? But guys, that's it for this little QP preview. I'll be back probably later on with the qualifying results. So check out for that. If you enjoyed the little video, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Question of the day, who will be getting the pole position in Phillip Island? Let me know down in the comments and goodbye.